you this slide here you created and we here we have the four major social media platforms let's talk a little bit about that and then we'll take them um, individually yeah no definitely i think that it's super important i was actually looking to uh give you guys a, an actual channel to check out uh for youtube but uh will hit the nail on the head i mean you know the day and the age of getting on social media and keeping it consistent which you see here is like that's like the basic of the basic right now it's at another level where it's just like okay you have it consistent. Here's your different four platforms you should be on. But how do you get the content out there? How do you disseminate the content? And Will, we almost did a great job. It's a, okay, YouTube. Now YouTube's owned by Google. So if you want to potentially get organic search, and especially if it's aerial con uh, content, YouTube is where to go. Um, I'll find the channel, put it in the chat. We have a um, guys that are up here in Oregon on YouTube. It's called, I think, Living in Portland, Oregon, All About Portland, Oregon. Oregon, and they've done $11 million in top line gross revenue in 2020, just because of their YouTube channel. Wow. And then from YouTube, Instagram, super popular, but Instagram doesn't give you a link out. So if you're not at 10,000 uh, followers and you can't put it on the story for the swipe up, that's when you get the swipe up unlocked. Then you have to then go ahead and put the link on your profile, but then you only get one link. So then you have to use link tree to have multiple links and you don't want to make it too complicated. Right? So you're like, all right. So Post the main video on YouTube because you want to get subscribers. If you monetize your YouTube channel, I got a guy up in, um, he's up in Canada, went from, I think like 10 to 50,000 a month off of just monetizing his YouTube channel, then get that content to, to Instagram and then just give them a little bit, right? Give them a teaser and then call to action, go over to the YouTube channel, right? And then you got to be quick about asking them to like, follow and subscribe. And I see this all of the time. And if you're working with any video companies out there, at the beginning of your videos, I had a guy, um, he, his name is Daniel R. Hunt Jr. in Texas. And he was basically on real estate versus tech. He's now up to, I think, $1,000 a month. And he goes and does listing videos. And I think his top viewed video has like 100,000 views or what have you. But at the beginning, he's like, like, follow and subscribe. Because you only get the first three seconds because people are just like three seconds, three seconds, three seconds. And they're just going through your content quick. So if you don't catch them quick then sorry, like you're going to lose them. And then you want to make sure you have a call to action really quick to get them to subscribe to your YouTube channel to have, have that happen, to have more success with that. And the last thing I'll leave with is that Facebook, Instagram, a lot of these platforms natively want you to post in their actual platform because they want to hold viewership as long as they possibly can. So sometimes just posting a link and having them link out to YouTube doesn't really work in your favor as much as you want to. So that's kind of a hurdle you have to overcome. But uh, that's my thoughts on that slide. 